for each of you have your own constellation. Right? So the star that is your own personal physiological, biological experience connected to your relationships, connected to which are stars in themselves, connected to your environment, connected to the communities you're part of, connected to the career that you are in, connected to the planet you are in, and then the cosmos. So that this sense of flow from one to the other, you are all of those things. So that when you're struggling in one of those spheres, there are other spheres that are they're quite stabilized and okay. So it's just knowing that if you are struggling personally in your internal sphere, that there are external spheres that actually might be more solid and more helpful in that moment to focus on until this internal personal sphere comes back into the balance of all things. And that sense of description of, oh, when you go into cold water, the body braces. Yeah, and it feels harsh. And then little by little, there's a calm and an equanimity that occurs as your water internally and the external water start to uh, be in relationship. And this being in relationship, yes, is with animate and inanimate objects, is with people, is with insects, is with birds, is with trees, is with what the stories you create that are creatively inspired for something greater than you are. And that when you create out of an awareness of, of that meta picture and that micro picture that I am this big human on a mat and I'm also this very small, powerful human in a very large universe. That if I am open to it in my awareness, all of that can be a support to you. And the more you settle into that, then your tiny intentions can have huge consequences. But there's a, there's a consciousness that I'm inviting you to be aware of, to remember that practice of what came up was gratitude for all of that. And then the orientation practice that's needed to orient you to each of those fears and that they coexist almost like timelessness past, present, future, they coexist. And when we create writers, artists, musicians, you're creating out of, out of an unconscious and conscious expression of all of that, the wholesome experience of that. And the scripts that we embody and inhabit, that's what they're expressing. In the minutia of something very small, I'm getting a bigger picture in these big, massive, mythological, archetypical stories, they're used as metaphors to uh, give me a sense of what it is to be in life. And they're the stories that you inhabit, you embody. And the more, the richer and more complex the actor is inside that process, or the writer, the more of your listener you will wake up. So the more of you that's present, the more the listener will be able to feel their presence. 